This is Suzanne Wagner, and I'm doing my numerology and astrology for the 7th of December 2022. All right, if you add all those numbers together, you get the number 16. And if you add the 1 and the 6 together, you get the number 7. This number can show us so much. If we are willing to allow life to lead us in the directions of our truths and allow awareness to break through the walls that we created for protection that have turned into a prison. While all life can feel chaotic and challenging, know that today you can put some of the things into places that maybe needed to get organized and the many things and events that are currently feeling overwhelming require a little bit more structure. Sometimes life requires us requires a lot from us, but such moments are to help us learn to focus when emotions want to steal us away and drag us down, especially. Life requires more effort from us just when we don't want it to. Life will not allow us to wallow in grief for too long because such a thing is not healthy in the long run. That is why activities, events, jobs, parties, and gatherings happen to pull us back towards life and away from the doorways of death. Celebrate the lives of those that we love and remember that regardless of how we feel, life will continue no matter how or what is currently happening on a personal level or a global one. We are learning to celebrate each moment because we do not know what life will throw our way next. The number seven is one of my favorite days. It brings in clarity and clears the haze. It allows perspective to pierce through opinion. It allows individuals to stop being a minion. This is a number where thought turns to reason and it sees the patterns inherent within a season. And it is a day where structures help those in need and all those plans and all those good deeds become something wonderful that can help us last a long time because this is the number of music rhythms and rhymes listen to your own flow and discover the music that is inside let it out and show that there is no need to hide what is so beautiful within that defines who we are and allow that flow within to carry you very far and the astrology today the moon in gemini is full tonight i am sure some of you have been waking up in the middle of the night because of its powerful pull and brightness Allow this Gemini full moon to bring illumination into those things that have seemed murky and clouded. Much can become revealed if we are open to receiving it. There will be a lot of information coming our way over the next few weeks. We will notice in that process the tendency to downplay what arises. And that is fine. Some of those things coming around are of a more delicate nature and bring them bring with them a strong set of emotions. Do your best to stay strong and finish what has begun. A retrograde Mars and the moon align and old things surface to be gone over once again. Know that all things will be processed eventually. Decisions seem to be urgent, but there are some that can be put aside for another time where there is less drama and more emotional clarity. This full moon shows us that life is short and we need to share the love we feel with others before it's too late. Seems that there are many types of announcements that need to be expressed. Travel continues to be stressful and those situations that require our presence continue to demand more of our time. We could potentially learn a lot of things over the next few weeks. Stay as fully present with what is happening as possible. It will be hard, but do not try to win any argument. Listen and know that the old fights seem petty now and of less importance and that we have uh, less importance than we have been giving them. Expect all plans to ch all plans to change. I can stumble over my words today. Expect all plans to change and know that many things will continue to interfere with the flow of normal life. The changes now are essential but difficult. Notice those forces that will continue to block and cause problems. Old resentments seem to not want to die. There will always be those that need to interact in ways that to us seem abusive and that bring us exhaustion and discouragement that anything will ever fix, that, that we may never be able to fix those old problems. 
All we have to remember is that we cannot fix the karma for others or of others, nor can we make their choices for them. What we can do is recognize that through the tensions that are currently happening, we only need to understand who we are, why we are here, and how to step past the ego's need to be right. Thanks, everyone.